All right, today I'd like to talk about how to do split screen in ZBrush. So if you look here, uh, we could have our reference on one side and then uh, our model on the other side and that we could sculpt here and then when you turn it, the reference turns. So let's take a look at how to do that uh, in ZBrush. It's actually pretty simple to set up. So I'm just gonna kind of clear everything out here. And um, now let's say we have a model that we did in Maya. Okay, so maybe a base mesh that we made. And now what I could do is I could just select that and export selection. And I'm just going to go ahead and save this here. And I'm going to call this um, OBJ, you know, my base mesh. Now, I feel like now if I have a reference model, and if I go here, um, what I'm, I'm at artstation.com, and I'm just, I did a search for anatomy, and I looked at the price for free, and I came across this great reference model here. And if I click on this, um, this is the one that I'll be using in the example. Once again, you can see that it's free, you can download it. And um, once again, excellent, excellent model here. Um, so, and also really cool that um, uh, Dimitri's giving this away for free. So go ahead and check out his work. I feel like what, what a great artist here. So um, click on download. And what I did is I just moved that file into this here. And you can see that that is the, I named it OBJ male reference. Uh, so here's my model and there's the other model right here. So now what? Well, now if I go back to ZBrush, what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and import and I'll go here. Let me see. And here it is. And here's my base mesh. So I'll go ahead and import that. And now I'll drag and there's the model. Now I'll click edit. And um, this won't be like this right away. So I'm just going to put this back to the, like that. And it's going to be like this. Okay. Now I need to bring in the reference model. So what I'm going to do is if I go to Subtool, um, I'm just going to import something else. If I would go to import right now, the reference model will actually override this model. So what I'm going to do is go down here and I'm going to go to um, Append and I'm just going to choose anything, maybe this cube. Now if I select the cube, it's going to override that and I don't care that it overrides that. So now if I go to Import, here's the reference and I'll go ahead and click open and now it overrode the cube and I can see that um, they're not exactly the same size okay you might say well I'm gonna change my model to fit the reference but in fact what I want to do instead is change the reference to fit my model um, and the reason that I do that is because I don't want to screw up the center line on mine um, sometimes mirroring you know get screwed up or something like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the move tool bring this up and then maybe go to the center here to scale and get that as close as I can to this. Okay, excellent. Now they're sitting literally right on top of one another, which that's kind of weird. But if I go to transform, there's something kind of hidden down here. And it's called split screen. And if I put that to one, I can see that this is now a split screen. And it's not exactly the way that I want it because I feel like only what's on the right side I'm going to be able to work on. So how this works is whatever subtool you have active is going to be on, we'll call it the working side. And this is going to be the reference side. So I can see that when I turn it, when I zoom in, the other side's going to be perfect. Uh, it's going to be, it literally will be the perfect reference. Um, so once again, I love this feature. Now a few tricks with this is you'll notice that this um, tool is a little bit lighter than this tool, and that's because this is the active subtool. But a trick to get these to be the, actually the same color is if I click on this paintbrush here, uh, this will activate poly painting, and since I have white active, um, you can see that now they're basically the same color, which is really cool too. And if I switch materials, uh, I can see that they both change to the exact same material as well. So that's really cool. Um, and now I could 
sculpt and just kind of really kind of study anatomy or whatever I'm uh, doing for my ZBrush work. So now let's talk about other places where you could find reference. Okay, so obviously um, on um, ArtStation, but another place, another cool place to find some reference is here at 3dscanstore.com. And if I scroll down, I can see that they actually have uh, real people scanned in uh, three-dimensionally. So you can download them and it's as, as if you have a real model that is rotatable and um, you could practice your sculpting, your anatomy. Um, even if the character's in a complex pose or something like that, um, just for the sake of, you know, practicing a sculpt for the sake of practicing a sculpt. So I think this is a really cool um, place that you can kind of find some cool body scans and, um, you know, kind of see what's out there. The Some of them are free, and uh, but I feel like the majority of them you have to pay for. But once again, I feel like um, what, what, what a great resource. And then having that with uh, the ZBrush side-by-side -side screen is going to be uh, super helpful. One thing to note though is that if you had multiple subtools, like more than two subtools, this isn't really going to work. Um, so you want to make sure that there's just one subtool on this side, one subtool on this side. And if your reference is comprised of a lot of subtools, what I would do is I would merge it all as one and then you can use that as a reference. Um, the female version that I like to use is actually in the light box here. And if I go to tool, uh, this Ryan Kingsley, it looks like a skeleton, but it's actually um, the full female character with all the muscles, uh, similar to what I have here as the male, but I feel like that's in a lot of parts. So what you would need to do is you would need to merge all of the subtools into one subtool, and um, then you would be able to use that as a reference as well. Um, another thing with this, if I go to transform on this split screen, you'll notice if I go back to zero, it's normal. If I go to one, it's like this. If I go to two, then it splits it this way. So that's kind of interesting. And if I go to three, it looks like it's the same as before, but now what it's doing is it's giving us this is our working side and that's our reference side. Okay, so I feel like maybe if you're left-handed or something, you might want to have this one as your active side. Or I could go split screen four, and that's going to be, it's basically going to just have this bottom one be our sculpting one. So usually what I like personally, I like to have split screen at one. I like to be working on this side and have this as my reference. So once again, hopefully that was helpful, and I will see you next time.